Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Mojulicious. In the previous session, we built the home page of our website using Mojulicious full app. Let's be honest, the home page looks quite dull and boring. We will add some colors to our home page by using templates and layouts in Mojulicious. Today we'll talk about the below topics. We will first download a HTML template from the internet. Then we will see how to create a layout in Mojulicious using the template that we just downloaded. After which we'll look at creating a home page template using the layout that we created in the previous step. Without any delay, let's begin. To download a template, I will search for free templates in W3 schools. Let's find a template for ourselves. I'd actually decided on one template that I wanted to show you guys. Let's use this template. I'll just copy the source code. I will head over to my DigitalOcean server. Open a file called index.html. Save our source code in this and exit. So we have our index.html stored in the server. We just downloaded a free HTML template and saved it in our server. Next what we'll do is we'll use this HTML template and create a Mojulicious layout out of it. Before we do that, let's go ahead and look at the template again. So layouts are basically reusable website skeleton. Let's look at this template and decide what part of it we want to reuse and what will be dynamic. So the static part, we will create it as a layout and the dynamic part, we will create it as a template. Let's parallelly open the source code of this page. Let me open the source code here. Let's see. To start with, I want the title to be changed based on the page I visit. So let's make the dynamic. Let's go to the title section of the page. Mojulicious comes with lot of helpers. These helpers are replaced by Mojulicious at runtime. Title is one such helper. We will set the value of the title in our templates, which we will see in the next step. Going forward, I don't want these links to be available. Since we have only a home page, I don't want other menu links. Let me remove all the other links. Let me search for link. I'll remove link one, link two, link three, and link four save. Let's rename the start page and call it the same as the title. Let's search for start page. Here is the start page. I will call a title helper. Going forward, there are two sections in this templates. I just need one because in the home page we're just talking about what this website does. So let's get rid of this. Let's search for lorem. So this is the first one, which is basically the first grid. So I'm sure you will find something called the second grid. Let's remove the second grid. And now in the first grid, we don't want this part. Let's have only this particular section. So out goes this. Finally, we have these two sections which we are concerned about. This will be our header and this will be the content. Let's just copy this and keep it separately. We will use this in a while. This will be the dynamic content which will change based on the page we visit. In order to achieve that, we will use a Mojulicious helper called as the content. So what happens is this part of the code which needs to be displayed on the page, we will set it in the template and that gets automatically rendered here using the content helper. That's it. I think we have our layout ready. Save and exit. Now what we'll do is we'll copy this to our layouts folder. Let me expand this a bit. 
let's go to the layouts folder let's rename it to master.html it will be a master layout .ep is the file extension that Mozilla recognizes it as a layout or template there we have our layout created now that we have a website skeleton ready let's go ahead and create a home page template which will basically call this layout as the static content and add its own dynamic content that needs to be displayed before we make any more changes I'll show you how our home page looks like now we created a home page in the previous session let's just remind ourselves as to how it looks like let me start a web application using Morbo This is how our home page looks like that we created in the previous session. Let's make it a bit colorful using the layout that we just created. Let's just clear the screen. Let's head over to the templates folder again. Instead of going to layouts, let's go to our templates folder that we created in the previous session. Let's open our home page template that we created in the previous session. This is how it looks like. Instead of using the default layout, we will change this layout to point to our newly created layout, which is the master. This is the title helper I was talking about. Whatever value you give it here will be rendered by the title helper in your layout. So let's change it to home page. So in our web page, home page will be reflected in the window title as well as in the banner because we added the title helper in both the places. Instead of using this HTML, let me just paste the HTML that I copied from the template when we just deleted the first section. Paste it here. Since we want the website content to look exactly like in the template, let's use this HTML tags to put our content into it. So in H1, we will copy this part. And we will copy a content. And paste it inside the H5 tag. Let's delete the default contents and the original content that we had. So now what happens is whatever HTML we have here, this will be replaced by the content helper that we added in our layout. Let me save and then exit. So will our homepage be colorful now? Let's find out. let's go back to the browser there you go we have a fancy looking home page this is coming from the title helper so is this because we have mapped it against title helper this content is coming from the content helper which we set in the templates and gets reflected in the layout pretty sleek huh as discussed in the beginning of the session we did add some color to our website not bad is it now that we have a home page ready we need to start building on top of this to create a login page a logout page and also the session management that comes with it we will look at session management in our next session I hope you guys are enjoying these videos if there are any doubts or clarification that you might have please use the comment section below I will add a link to my blog in the description below it has all the details that we discussed in this session today I'll see you guys in the next video. Please do like this video if you liked it. And please subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Goodbye.